Roll up, roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, roll up to the greatest show on earth. It's the Jones and Jones Big Top of Fun in the amazing American Circus. Let's go. Now, we just picked up uh, our second artiste, Charmer, that we need in order to take on... Uh, Interesting, Black Henrietta, I can't do anything with just yet. Oh, there was no point in me playing her because she can't level up yet. Oh, that was a mistake. Anyway, we've picked up our second uh, artist for the preacher. Uh, let me just see if there's anyone I can promote right here. Face changer, you can. And the counting chicken. Ignore 20 on old really doesn't need to happen, I don't think. We'll go for that. And we will get one more, the counting chicken. It adds up. Goes from uh, draw 3 right to... I don't like the draw 3, that's the problem. Don't count your chickens plus, that's nice. That's fine. Now, we look at where we are. Over here. Hang on, what's that? Uh, might be able to do something with that. No, we need to save it for food right now. So if we need to go over there, that's going to be three steps. Which means we need a lot of food. Uh... Actually, all of them need food, but nutrition the least. Mm, what have I got? Anything else? Got potatoes. We can do one of them. What else is cheap? We've got beans already. Carrots aren't in anything we can make yet. Eggs. Oh, we've got a ton of eggs. I didn't notice. How did I not read that? All right. Couple of milk. Let's go out to the uh, travel and have a look at how it would look if we did that and that. We would need something giving us satisfaction and nutrition. That would do. It's not fantastic, but it would do. It would cost us 40. That would do. That would cost us 60. That really wouldn't do. That would cost us 32. Spend the money. Let me have a look. Because that's only going to cost us two on nutrition. If we do that, that would be one. We can do that. It's not fantastic, 
But it doesn't drop anything negative at all. So more milk. And then we travel. Four, thirteen and one. It's slowly getting dark when the fleeting face of Wang returns to the camp. Drunk like a skunk, the artist falls into Rolly Molly, the smooth tongue mime's lap. Someone need to take care of the bummer. Rolly Molly, smooth tongue mime. Uh, do it yourself. New gift. Previous the cities. New hopes on fleeting. Wow. Uh, ask for help. Rolling Molly the smooth tongue mime sighs and moves, trying to pick up the drunk. The fleeting face you wang immediately throws upon the reluctant caretaker, who in turn cursing you and the bummer all the way to hell leaves the scene. In the end, you lead the fleeting face you wang to the cart yourself. All in all, the artist seems thankful for the help. When the pasta's train stops at one of the stations, you and your team of exceptional artists get on quickly. You find the pasta without a problem. He's dedicated it's dedicated the whole wagon just for himself. You manage to distract him long enough, Uncle Jack will be able to sneak in and find the code to the safe. Circus? God, I love the circus. Are you selling tickets? Ah, this one's for free, mate. No. We're here to give you a show of your lifetime. Harvest. Go on. Not suspecting a thing, now's your chance. Just him to do. Black Henry Edder is our prize performer here in Ring One. Bringing you this, the joy of fire eating. With our juggler Precious White and our strongman champion, sorry, Jewel White, uh, fetching things up as well. And we have Mimi on a tightrope above you on a unicycle. And a noble, not savage. We refuse that term. We refute it, in fact. A noble local, a noble native. Going five against all. The sneering, sneering is increased by one each time the ignore card is played. Isn't she charming? Isn't she amazing? It's Jewel White! And showing you her skills with a cherry picker here. We have a finger lift from the strong man. <laughs> Who will astonish and impress you as you can smash a rock over his chest. A tsunami from the jewel. Watch this now, watch this. And see extra hands here as she seems to amazingly have more hands than you. Up above you, it's Mimi on the unicycle. Hercules hold. 
preventing this whole train falling apart with just his bare hands. A dragon candle now, that's going to take your breath away. <laughs> and the penman's pandemonium to finish you off. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it, preacher man. <coughs> Spectacular success. Well, the pastor is focused on your extraordinary employees. Uncle Jack managed to find a scrap of paper with a safe, co uh, safe code written on it. 82763. Excuse me while I write that down. All right. Whoop. Well, and now we have two priests here, Father Stan and Father Emmett. Once the, uh, we have our face changer, Yuan. We have the charming Chama. And perhaps astonishing you even further. Hmm. We have, shall we do precious? I think you should most be amazed by our, our chicken, Max. Chicken to the max, indeed. We have a lizard man wandering around among you, taking your breath away. And a cougar in flames. Fee fee the cute the cougar. Six damage to everyone. And here we are with the charmer bringing you some random tricks. What is this? We have an impressive change here from Yuan. <laughs> and isn't Yuan charming? Well, yes, he is. That will give them some uh, charming aura. And, sir, would you like to try on some handcuffs or. I think handcuffs would suit you very well, don't you? <laughs> and right here we have the chicken. The straight jacket. Have some more handcuffs, sir. Now, it won't actually do anything for him, but it will boost this. You know, it all adds up. So says our Professor Chicken. They often say you should not count your chickens before you hatch. Here we say you should not count your chickens while they're counting you. Ha, 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 ha. 
And uh, the professor is back with some mastery. Cluck, 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 it's the chicken! How does it feel to be buried alive? Why don't you ask our wonderful charmer? No five transfigure card in your hand. We have a defensive change here. Protecting everyone with a power of mask. And an impressive change, Father Stan, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, as I've said before, don't count your chickens while they're counting you. It's the table of death. And Xu Huang is here to say, It's the Emerald Queen of Beauty. There's three tricks coming up. Oh, one of those tricks is it's Fifi leaping through a burning hoop on your train. Oh, don't let the drapes catch fire. We have a straight jacket here. Watch him escape. Houdini to the max. Yeah, I have some handcuffs for both of you. And let's go. Our chicken is frozen right now, but don't worry, we'll heat it up for the next round. And once again, we ask what's it like to be buried alive. With a perfect trick, you will be surprised. And impressing you with the fury of the gods. <laughs> Once again, you've frozen our chicken. I see that. We'll keep it thawing out, don't you worry.
Well, Father Stan, I think you're going to be all bound up with some handcuffs. And how about you, Father Emmett? You want to try some on too? Certainly. Some extra ignore from the Emerald Queen. And Father, may I put you in handcuffs? Time for a deck shovel. Oh, Father Emmett, haven't I told you not to count your chickens while they're counting you? There we go! I'm sure you enjoyed the show! Priests have been dealt with, but you don't have much time. Everything is in Robbie's beak. And you just have to remember the code. 82763. Yep, that's what we've got. You enter the safe box compartment, and there it is. A safe. Big, shiny, and steely. Robbie seems ready to do his part. So on with the show. Eight. Two. Seven. Six. And three. Did it? That's not right. We 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 did it. Yes. It... Eight two seven six three. What do you want to do, boss? But we did it just fine. Eight two seven six three. What did I do wrong? Seven, six. Wait, is it three, six? I, I misread it then. It's okay. Okay. Right. Eight. Two. Seven. Three. Six. Robbie the Master Safe Cracker. Christ Almighty, finally, we got the damn deed. Yeah, we did. You and your troop of outlaws are about to leave the train as the pastor approached you wanting to thank you against Zane. I believe, yes, you've just stolen something very precious from him. Fantastic performance. Amazing. I want to repay you somehow. I know. Give me that chicken. I shall bless it. May you all find happiness in this world. Now, that all's lo now all that's left is giving the good news to the mayor of Cinnabar. And we're on the road up there now.
Beans. We'll do a bean stew. Uh, let's go back to travel. Minus two, ten, three. So what we need is something that will do uh, satisfaction. Everything else doesn't matter so much, especially health. Apple bread, that will do satisfaction. And we can afford it. Put that to go on. And off we go. Back to Cinnabar. Six, twelve, and four. Then send about and ask the mayor bell to see you immediately. He approached you in haste, stumbling, eager to get the news. We have landed above your head and he's so happy at the sight you might just burst into tears. Oh my! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Here's your reward. Five hundred dollars. So, we outlaws now? Nah, that was just an episode. <laughs> sure hope not. Robbie the master safe cracker. We have nine out of eight. Now, from what I've heard, stupid equation special, that's three. From what I've heard, the specials that you get from, uh, from, what do they call them, um, quests are superior. And who we're not using, oh the clown's already gone, we already got rid of the clown. Well, I'm sorry Max, but uh, you're off to the farm. And we have invested in uh, in all in all of them now, more or less. Okay, could promote her, yes. She's max level. So I can't level her until we upgrade the uh, training wagon. Okay. So we'll let Joel stand out from now on until we can get some more up there and it makes it worthwhile. Recovery wagon. Well, let's see where we're going first. Let's see what we've got. We either look at that or we look up here. And I think we look up here to begin with. Miles City, that's a place we can go to. It'll take us to. See, it was January 28th of the fair year of 1887 when the grandness of nature struck Miles Town. The largest snowflake in the world fell from the sky, measuring 12 inches. It overshadows all. And that's about the only interesting one could say about this place. 
but one has to wonder whether all the greatness of the future holds for this town. All right, so we need something giving us satisfaction and nutrition. Isn't that apple bread? No. Salted meat wood. Cheese soup wood, but that's 60. Cheese soup's about the only one that will, though. We can afford to do it. So, cheese soup. Lead is 9, 4, and 3. About uh, health and nutrition, what can we do there? Beans? No. Well, potatoes wouldn't be bad, but we've only got one of them. Well, we can afford one more potato, that's for sure. Let's hit the road, shall we? Travelling over to Miles City. A small town. Eight, nine and twelve. Plenty. You're just about to leave town when you notice on the corner of your eye the mayor handing the land deed over to a big sweaty fella smoking a cigar. They shake hands. The bastard knew what he was doing all along. We should have hey, Asher. What are you doing? I, uh, uh, I was just... It seems only fair if we can get our share of your deal. Or do you want me to clear things up with the pastor? All right, all right. In a save an extra hundred. Nice. All right. Let's visit and have one more show, folks. We already have a face changer. We don't need another. Uh, ooh, money driven. Nice. So the aerialist is good. They don't have anything yet. A strong man's good. I want to get into stress then. If we're going to use our area list, I would like to get rid of that, but I can't afford to. So, face change a strong man, and... Might as well feature Robbie the counting chicken. Roll up, roll up, roll up, folks. We've a chicken. So, please, everyone, and you're not having him for dinner. We've a strong man to leave you feeling weak at the knees. And we have a face changer to surprise you. Up above, you'll see Mimi, the unicyclist, on a tightrope. And walking among you, bringing fear that's worse than anything you found in the mines, is our lizard man. Enjoy the parade, the posters and the advertisement, as we put on a show to delight all ages.
see if the sum of the cards in the discard and deck is a prime number, draw four. Vitality goes up two. I don't like the draw four, but here comes a legendary draw. Do the math! Do it yourself, go ahead! And he's down! And we have a square root special for you, sir! You want to come in uh, on our chicken, perhaps, actually, on our uh, strongman? Well, let's cover him up. And face the fury of the gods from Hu Wang. <laughs> and a perfect trick to follow up. There we go. Sit down, have a seat. Enjoy yourself. Doesn't you Wang look charming? And you'll be impressed with this change. Defensive change follow up and stunning and staggering, smashing a rock over his chest. We have a equation special here from a mathematical chicken. And a square root special to boot. Up above, it's Mimi bringing you pleasure like you've never had before. Not the one I wanted, I wanted to get him down. Yeah. And the Emerald Queen makes an appearance again, protecting everyone. Which means it's time for a legendary draw! Go ahead, Robbie, the safe breaking chicken. An impressive change, so take your attention, sir. And a truck flip. Take your attention and protect our chicken. Perfect trick here. Okay. 
And a defensive change from Wang, our face changer. It leads us to inviting you to smash a rock over our strongman's chest. That just leaves you, sir. The last of your mining buddies, I think. A square root special. How are you on squaring up those mine shafts? <laughs> so the discard pile and the deck is a number in the Fibonacci series. Zero plus eleven. 13 would need to be the one. We can do that. I think it's time to protect our face changer. And a rain of fire from the face changer. Leading us to the final step. Do the math special! Go ahead, be a bird brain! Birds are smart in this world! Three ninety seven earned! We have a special reward, a snake woman! Nice! Let's see, is that a misfit? Yes, it is. Our snake lady. Although this scaly lady speaks with a lisp, she always tells the best stories. Usually they're about ancient Greece, and she does speak with a heavy accent. Skin of the act, extra ignore, dash three for a random artist. That's not bad. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found our show today entertaining. We certainly found you entertaining. Now we have a three ring circle that you might be willing to perform in for us. Ring one is the comment section where you can get a, a comment from me if you post one yourself. It's a bit like working out the math of uh, Robbie the chicken. Ring two is a like and subscribe. Spinning high for those numbers for the YouTube algorithm like the aerialist. And ring three is our... Um, other games that you might enjoy. They could well impress you, just like the Fire Eater. Bye now.